Carol, they've stocked up on food and water. They put their valuables away and they've made a plan. And now it's a waiting game. It's going to be an interesting couple days. Marquette grad Matt Holton prepares for the worst as Irma's path takes a turn. We all thought that it was going to hit the um, the East Coast really bad, and we're all like, you know, kind of nonchalant about it. Hurricane shutters are ready to go at his Naples home, a mandatory evacuation zone. There's nobody on the street. There's no cars. Holton will stay inland at a friend's. His biggest concern, the predicted 8 to 12 feet storm surge. So if it really gets above 10 feet, the first floor of my house is flooded. Holton stayed so he can be around to save his home and dental practice. I'd want to be able to get to stuff to try to help it, help people. Lynn Halloran waiting out the storm in Keysville with her animals. I'm going to bring my sheep in the garage if it gets really bad. The other ones, you know, we just have to let them have access to the barn, but we don't want to lock them in the barn in case something happens to the barn. Oak Creek native Jim Berger lives in Coral Springs. And I would rather be here than stuck in a car. A pro at snowstorms, not hurricanes. That's what my girl asked me. She's, would you rather be in Wisconsin in a blizzard or here in a hurricane? I said, a blizzard. I've been through many of those. Berger is sticking to a plan. Uh, we're going to put a, um, an armoire in front of the, the window, and uh, we're going to shut all the interior doors. Tonight's weather, no indication of what's to come. It's just another day in paradise until tomorrow. Obviously a nerve-wracking time for these people, but they're in good spirits. Some even joking about being worried if they'd get to watch the Packers game Sunday. Georgia Carroll. <laughs> they're very brave. Thank you very much, Corrine. And we're going to offer.